What's up everyone? We are in Montreal, Canada with Canada's own Natalia. You had one hell of a night the night before the Elimination Chamber. How are you feeling? How did it feel to be out there in front of the people of Canada? <laughs> um, it, it, it was amazing. I mean, I, I always love coming back to Canada. I always feel like, you know, the Canadian people have been so behind my family and myself for our entire careers and they understand. They understand where we came from. Mm -hmm. They understand the sacrifices we've made for this, for this sport and so to be to be back in Canada, mm -hmm. feeling all of the love, it's something I never take mm -hmm. for granted. And you know, again, tomorrow's a big day, Elimination Chamber. You got a, got a big night ahead. So does this give you some momentum, some encouragement leading into tomorrow? I, I feel like I've never been more ready, and I say it all the time, especially to the people that train with me in the dungeon. I always say, don't get ready, stay ready. And the last three months, I've had a chance to regroup, refocus, recalibrate, and be more ready than I've ever been in my mm -hmm. entire life to go to WrestleMania. Um, I feel like this is my time to shine and I'm not letting anybody get in my way. You know your family has so much history here. There's so much appreciation and love and admiration. And so, you know, how does that feel, you know, just internally, you know, like being able to represent your family? Just, I never take for granted um, the road that my family paved for me to do this because my family is just, they've done so much for the sport. They've inspired people. They've, they've, the, the torch that my grandfather, Stu Hart, passed along to my uncles, Brett and Owen Hart, and my dad, and my you know, other uncles, the British Bulldogs, they passed that torch to me. And it's so different because I'm the first female mm -hmm. in the Hart family carrying that torch. And like, it's, it's a huge honor, it's a great responsibility, it's something I don't take lightly. And I, I said it the other day um, on social media, I said, you know, <laughs> uh, I have to earn my spot here. Every single time I walk through that curtain, I don't, I don't feel like I deserve anything. I want to fight and work for everything that I have. No one is owed anything here, mm -hmm. especially me. So I want to fight and earn everything I have, including walking through that entrance, seeing, seeing people, whether they cheer me, whether they boo me, whether they like me, whether they hate me, just respect me, understand how hard I've worked to get here and how hard I've worked for 15 years mm -hmm. to keep my spot in WWE. We all we all know like the special relationship that you had with with your father, and of course yeah. how the wrestling world just so much loved and admires him. What advice do you think he would give you before your match tomorrow? My dad, <laughs> my dad always said to me just to have fun. Yeah. And when you're having fun, you never have to go to work. But tomorrow. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna have fun, but tomorrow I'm gonna get hungry and forget my manners. <laughs> just, just like the Anvil said. <laughs> totally allowed. All right, Tayo, thank you and good luck tomorrow. Thank you so much, Kayla.